Okay, I'm playing with a tripod next to the sewing machine, so let's see what happens. I've probably just knocked it out of the way sitting down. Right, I'm using this um, ruffler foot, which is actually for a Singer sewing machine, but I'm using my Benina 801 Sport. And I've got this nifty little um, uh, low shank adapter for my sewing machine so that I can actually use Singer attachments on my Benina. Right, let's see. <laughs> right. So it's very clunky and it's not coming out too beautifully on the back. There's a lot of looping, um, but I'm going to be folding my uh, seam allowance under and edge stitching along there anyway. Top stitching, whatever you want to call it. It's going to be right near an edge, so I'm going to call it edge stitching. Um, but what's happening here is that the dog feeds on the same machine are feeding my main fabric through and the auxiliary feed up here on the attachment is feeding my eyelet trim through. So, and I've got it set to um, one pleat every 12 stitches. So the distance between each pleat actually depends on what your stitch length is set at on your sewing machine. And what happens is, as this eyelet trim goes through here, this little bit of blue steel comes back and forth and pushes with its little teeth the fabric up into a pleat and then the sewing machine stitches it down. Um, the eyelet trim goes through the attachment, so there's actually more attachment underneath it, but <coughs> excuse me, the, um, my main fabric does not, so the fabric is, uh, the attachment is sitting on top of it, so that's how it's able to manipulate my trim and not the fabric underneath. I do still have to um, guide the fabric underneath because uh, it does sometimes get caught up in the pleaty bit. I, I'm not even sure how it, that could be to do with the, um, the tension issues that I'm having that seem to be inherent with using this attachment on this sewing machine. But yeah, it's supposed to be an all-in-one thing. And you can theoretically put um, a braid through here as well to stitch it all at once. So you could stitch um, something flat on top, flat underneath, pleated in the middle. I, mean, I haven't tried that one yet. It comes out really pretty nicely, I think. <laughs> 